The story you're about to see will make you sad. It will make you feel scared and helpless, and it could happen to anyone. It is a family tragedy where an elderly couple is yanked from their home. Their daughter is left in the dark, and the person put in charge by Clark County admits to serious mistakes uncovered by Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears. It can happen in the blink of an eye. I could not be less happy. Life as you know it changed forever. Did you feel like you and your wife were kidnapped out of your own home? We were kidnapped and raped, both. Maybe not literally, but Rudy and Rennie North feel like they were violated, stripped of the life they were living together for 60 years. He cared for her through cancer and claims they were doing just fine until a knock on their door in the fall of 2013. So I opened the door and they said that they were officers of the court. Rudy says the officers gave the couple three options. One, we call the police. Two, we uh, have you go to a psychiatric ward. Choice three, an assisted living facility. The people who came for Rudy and Rennie were private professional guardian April Parks and a member of her staff. Mr. and Mrs. North um, were not in a good situation when we, when we initially um, got the guardianship. Um, there were lots of concerns about what was going on with them health-wise. Park says a hospice company referred the couple to her out of concern that they could no longer care for themselves. Were they allowed to give given the choice to stay in their home? At that time, they were not. And they've never been allowed to go back home. Park says threats of police and jail never came up, but... Psychiatric ward probably came up. Frightened and worried about being separated, the couple went with Parks to Lakeview Terrace Senior Home. Their only daughter, Julie, had no idea they'd been taken. Who t believes they're going to get taken out of their home? Julie eventually tracked them down. She took this video in January 2014. Oh, I just, I felt like I was being arrested. I was kidnapped out of my house. I wasn't even fully dressed. Court records show Rudy and Rennie were deemed incompetent by a pain management specialist and a physician's assistant. April Parks used those evaluations to gain temporary guardianship, which the court has since made permanent. In the court record, Parks also calls their only daughter, Julie, a reported drug addict who has no contact with her parents. Both say that's a lie and there's no evidence to back it up. They defame your family. They do that in case after case after case. In the North's case, we discovered mistakes, overbilling, and double dipping. Should it take Contact 13 to be the one that's finding this stuff and asking these questions? No, ma'am, it shouldn't. That's scary when you're in charge of someone else's life and money. Yes, I'm this not happy. This shouldn't be happening. I agree with you. Shockingly, Parks sold a bunch of Rudy and Rennie's belongings through an estate sale company who made $4,150, but she only got $923, which went into the North's account. Court records show Parks said it wasn't worth the legal effort to pursue the other 3200 bucks. But why would that ever be the determination? Well, I, I, I'm not, this is someone else's money. You're right. She I'm says sure they're going exactly to pursue it now. Contact 13 also uncovered double dipping. Rudy and Rennie were charged $780 each for court filings and travel time to court on the same days in 2013. That's over $1,500 You're absolutely to right. this couple. You're absolutely right. Who you're and saying doesn't we, have enough money already. We will happily reverse those, out, those charges out. How about $108 Parks charged Rennie to buy her a pair of stretch pants? Does 108 bucks for stretch pants no, seem reasonable? No, it doesn't, and, and I'm happy to reverse that. So far, Parks and her lawyer have charged the couple more than $25,000 in fees, plus almost $50,000 has been spent for the couple's room and board and medical expenses. Parks says this is the first time she's hearing Rudy and Rennie are unhappy and want out. I was dealing in fear because again, I didn't know that. I thought Nazi Germany was done in 1946. I didn't know it still existed in America. 
April Parks also told us that guardians are officers of the court, but the court says that's not true. The North family is scheduled to bring their case back to court later this month as they fight to reunite and end the guardianship. We will be following that case. Darcy Spears, Channel 13, Action News.